I like to sketch sometimes. Helps me out seeing as I work with tattoos. I'm still trying to get good enough that somebody trying to get good enough that someday somebody will care enough to put something I made on them. Even if it's a small piece. For now I practice. Lately though I've been using it to get out of the manuscript. I've been reading, going to sleep, and when I wake up I'm still seeing parts of it. Same thing happens when I go to work. I haven't been doing so hot there lately. Found this today. Woke up, got my jacket, reached inside to lock my door when I left, nearly threw my keys into the street. Did you know what? I should've. I really should've. Sat on the ground instead of asking myself who's been getting into my place. I slipped it right on my keyring. I know the game now. I do. I get the joke. Will and Karen leave, go to Seattle, come back, something changes in the house. Nothing crazy, just a hallway. I leave my place, go to work, go out with Lude, go to the store. Someone changed the dollhouse. Crazy Carpenter got to me too. <laughs> yeah. I get it. It's sick, but I get it. Absolutely hysterical. I don't want to think it's Lude. But he's the only one who knows I have this trunk. He's the only one who knew the old man. Zampano's dead. Zampano's a pile of ashes right now. He can't get up and break in and play poltergeist. I called Lude at the shop, gave him an earful. He swore he didn't know what I was talking about. I swore on his mother. Right after work, I bought a new lock for my front door. Bought a new knob, too. Two new keys to get in. I checked the windows to make sure that they were locked. There's so much dirt still on them. I know they haven't been open. Someone's been coming through the door. They must have. They messed up, though. Two reasons. One, these keys are too big for the locks. Obviously. Two, even with teeny tiny wooden keys, can't get this open because there aren't any keyholes. I think I'm crazy. Now I know what crazy looks like. <laughs>